<laughs> Say hi. She has been a little grumpy pants this morning. <laughs> Can't even go to the bathroom by myself without her screaming. Poor thing. But it's okay. But it's okay. Hi. Oh, watch out, mommy's belly. <laughs> Good morning everybody and welcome to my channel life with the fosters it is wednesday june the 22nd we're already almost done with june and i cannot believe it has flown by <coughs> we have a pretty busy day today um not a lot really to do around the house just straighten up the kitchen and the living room put away sissy's toys i have a baby doctor's appointment today they're going to be doing a non-stress test a fluid ultrasound check and a Doppler so I'm sure that'll take a little bit of time and I'll update you all after that appointment so we've not really got a lot of time to kill around here today because I do want to take Sissy to the library right quick and return the books that she currently has and get her some new books but first we got our first little mini pat pat shipment and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. I am overly excited about these. She does have another shipment coming that she got with her birthday money. She has seven new outfits coming. Um, three of these are for her. One of these is for Levi. So I am going to show those to you guys. I'm also going to include some footage in this video from yesterday. Um, I done some work in the nursery yesterday. Not a lot of work. I didn't get done nearly what I wanted to get done due to time and... Um, having to do other things honestly but I did go through all of Arabella's clothing yesterday and took out of the drawers what she currently cannot wear because it's too big and I put it away um to wear in the future or wherever when we need them so that way I can make room for Levi's clothing which we don't have much but we are working on it I am 32 weeks pregnant today time has absolutely flown by and I just, I can't wait to meet our little baby boy. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you all our little mini Pat Pat haul. This is the first time we've ever ordered from Pat Pat. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all what we got in our little mini haul. And we're gonna get ourselves ready to go to the library and just get our day going. I'm gonna um, also link on my referral code for Pat Pat down in the drop box. So if you all wanna go order, you get $10 off your first order. All right, this is the first outfit we got. This is for Levi. It's a super cute little romper with half suns on it. I absolutely love the material. It's very soft and it's so, so comfy looking. I got this in zero to three months. I'm actually going to put it in his hospital bag along with a couple newborn outfits because I don't know how big he's going to be. So with Arabella, I packed a couple newborn outfits and some zero to three months. So that way I was prepared for both. But this is definitely going in his hospital bag. Then for Arabella, we got this super cute little dress and she's trying to get into the cabinet behind me. So I did not make her happy. <laughs> um, this super cute little one shoulder red polka dot dress. I love it. Arabella. Then we got this beautiful little pink romper. This is actually what she's going to wear. Arabella is going to be in her very first pageant. Um, it's the beautiful baby contest that they have at the Wayne County Fair every year. She was too young to enter last year. She had to be two months old and she was not two months old yet. So she's actually going to get to enter this year and this is what we're going to wear. Arabella, stop, buddy, please. And then we got this little outfit. Hold on. Sorry about that. And then we got this little short set outfit. It is so cute. The top is a one shoulder. It's a very stretchy sport like material, which is going to be very cool on her this summer. And it came with a little belt too. So this is actually what she's going to be wearing today. I'm super excited about the shipment and I can't wait to show you all what we get next. We 
actually just had Nutri-Grain bars for breakfast, so I didn't really have any dishes to wash, which is honestly the kind of mornings that I really like. Arabella has this little play grocery set with all these little food toys and they are such a pain to put up because then she'll come right behind you and pull it back out so hopefully she won't derail me. Only blue skies Arabella has still been having some tummy problems, so we've been having to add Miralax to her milk. I'm hoping this helps to settle her tummy and make things easy for her. But also, guys, there is a friend that I want to introduce you all to. Her name is Jordan. She is going to be featured in this video, and I will link her channel down below if you want to go check her out. She is also a stay-at-home mama, and I believe you all will enjoy her content. What's up? My name is Jordan. I am a 25 year old stay at home mom to three boys um i have a fiance named cody who is going to be 27 next month um we will also be getting married next month super excited about that um we met approximately two years ago a little over two years ago and we have just been going strong since. We had just moved into a three bedroom, two bathroom mobile home. And I am slowly but surely getting it unpacked and situated. One room, three do-overs at a time. Anyway, here on my channel, I like to do beauty. I like to do vlogs. I like to do house cleaning. Um, anything that is good and clean and safe. Um, basically, like anything of my everyday life that I could just record and show you guys, it's not too private, personal. Um, yeah, so like I said, I have three boys. They are six, two, and one. Um, my six-year-old's name is Braxton, and he just finished kindergarten. He's the oldest, like I said, and he will be going to first grade this coming year. My middle child just turned two, and him and my oldest actually have the same birthday, um, and he's a mess. He's not in school or preschool or daycare or nothing like that. And then I have a one-year-old little boy. Oh, the two-year-old's name is Maddox, if I didn't say that. Um, I have a one-year-old little boy named Marcus, who is just a baby doll, basically. Most of my videos are very, like, rabbit trail. I don't know what kind of rabbits swim, but most of my videos are like this. Um, it's just very, very me. Can't wait to meet you guys and talk with y'all, and I will see y'all later. Bye!
Arabella. She looks so cute. Look at her. Look at me. Look at my mom. Oh, she's not having it. She's got an upset belly. And she's grumpy. And she's mad at me because I won't let her go back to sleep. But we're managing. <laughs> All right, y'all, we are finally dressed and on our way to the library. Arabella looks so stinking adorable in her little pat pat outfit. Although she's been in quite a mood today, but that's just part of it, I guess. I don't know. But um, y'all know I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything for you. That's just not how I roll. So believe me when I say that today, I feel extremely overwhelmed. And I'm not even for sure why. <laughs> I guess it's just one of those days where as a mom, you know, you have those days where you just get overly stimulated, overly stressed. Today is just one of them days for me. And I don't know if it's because I have a baby doctor's appointment later or what the deal is, but I just feel extremely underwater right now. So we're just gonna wait and see how the rest of the day goes. y'all I'm finally on my way home it is 2 12 it has been a very very long afternoon so far um, my doctor's appointment was at 12 30 I actually got there at 12 hoping to get in and get out a little earlier but it did not work out as I planned <laughs> but um baby's doing good heart rate was 171 fluid looks great um, everything is looking good as far as baby goes baby is still breech he is butt down but they're not concerned about that where I am scheduled to have a c-section the only way they would be concerned about that is if I do go into labor before my scheduled c-section date so they are still keeping an eye on baby as far as that goes this child will not show his face we have tried everything tried me doing getting up and doing jumping jacks drinking caffeine you know this child will not show his face he's very very stubborn so maybe i'll get a face but today i got a foot so we'll just see how that goes <laughs> uh, my blood pressure was elevated this time around it was 139 over 101 which they are concerned about that bottom number especially my heart rate is also elevated which i'll have it spells occasionally where I feel like my heart's beating out of my chest and I kind of got to take a breath and calm myself. <laughs> but they let me sit in the room for a little while and reach I didn't. It was 134 over 96, so it was a little bit better. But <coughs> I did get lab work done today to check my blood levels, things like that, to make sure I'm not anemic, anything of that nature, because I'm having a lot of severe fatigue. And so they are checking in on that. But um, I go back Monday for another fluid check ultrasound and doppler and non-stress test um i'll have to go to somerset for that but now for my appointment on wednesday i'll actually be able to be seen now at the health department in wayne county which is less of a drive for me because i live in wayne county so that's actually going to be better as far as that goes but i will be seen twice weekly until little man makes his arrival so that's kind of the update as far as the baby goes I am on my way home right now. I'm going to spend the afternoon kind of trying to relax and just take it easy. I'm having some swelling in my feet. I can um, put on my shoes and I have Velcro shoes so I can adjust them. And I'll have them good and loose on my ankles. But after being up on my feet for a while, I do notice that they're already tight. And so I am having some swelling in my ankles already, which is another thing I have to keep an eye on. So we are going to go home. We're going to relax. We're going to rest. Um, she told me to take it easy. I don't see that happening. I have a one-year-old. <laughs> but I am going to do my best. So, if that means my house isn't spick span for a little while and I just clean the bare minimum just to get by, you know what? That's what I'll do. If that means that I'm healthy throughout the rest of this pregnancy and I have a healthy baby boy being born, I will do whatever I have to do to make that happen. But I will keep you guys updated where we are on all that. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here, but this is where I'm gonna insert the footage of me actually organizing the baby's nursery yesterday. I did not get to get anywhere near done what I wanted to do. It still looks like an absolute train wreck has hit it, but I did get the clothing part of the baby nursery organized and whatnot. My sister-in-law gave me a big old bag 
of clothes from her boys and I did kind of go through those. There's nothing that the baby will be able to wear right now. He won't be able to wear any of this stuff for a little while. So I'm going to put it up with Arabella's clothing. So that way we'll have it when that time comes. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that footage here. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys something a little special Arabella done last night that blows my mind. <laughs> And I can't wait for you all to see this, but I'm um, sorry this has been kind of a short vlog, but I hope you all enjoy the footage of the nursery clean, and we will catch you guys on the next one. You got me dancing in a storm, burning everything we know, dressing up as firefighters. You got me dancing in your stove, or I'm looking like... Okay, y'all, I'm obsessed with this little orange outfit. It has candy corn on it. It's so cute. She has so many clothes ranging from 3T to 5T and 4 or 5 little girls that she can't wear yet. So we're just going to put all this away in order to make room for Levi's clothes. All right, y'all, prepare for some super, super cute stuff fixing to happen right here in just a second. I'm granting all my wishes. I don't need you. Cause you've been. 